we are back. Uh, today I'm going to explain a bit about um, Yuma customization. So we have basically uh, Yuma crowd generating the avatars, random avatars, and Yuma customization is responsible for changing the avatar shape. So I'm going to create one avatar here. Okay. So let me just center on this avatar here. Right. So uh, it's quite uh, obvious that this mess here is just a placeholder for simply explaining how this uh, works. Uh, if you have the Yuma customization enabled, uh, it's you simply need to right click over the avatar you want to change and the sliders are updating to receive these avatar edges. Uh, I'm recording in lower resolution because of the recording speed uh, so I'm not sure if all of the sliders are visible, but here I'm just worried about showing the, the concept itself, so you can actually implement your own uh, sliders and handle this the, the best way possible. So we can adjust any of those sliders, uh, news, all of this is already working, see muscles. As I've already uh, showed, this is um, this is basically just changing the bonds, and in consequence, the shape is changing. So, I'm I'm the same is happening for female avatars. Let me just bring this one here. Okay, so you can see here, we give some big changes. Okay, so you can see how all these those sliders are changing the the shape. Uh, all of those avatars are by by the full um, still using the animator and the, the basic script for for those movements so you can test the the final result so. but again uh, this is basically a faceplate so that you have the necessary information to create your own solutions so i'm going to open this to explain how how it's working. Okay, so um, this is Yuma customization. It's basically um, on start. It's creating each of the sliders. Um, so for for each of those sliders, what what it's really doing is creating a slider based on a slider prefab and renaming and keeping track of, of each of them. So we have a list of all of the sliders. So we can access each of those and see if something has changed, this kind of thing. But uh, here we are simply uh, creating those sliders. Right now, uh, let me see, almost for 40 sliders, but uh, as I've told, we can have 100 of those. Uh, I'm just covering the, the most basic ones, but you can implement this the way you want. Uh, also, I should already bring this that this is still under development and I've already uh, have some some plans for changing and getting a better solution for for this so uh, you should be aware 
this is uh, going to receive more changes. So uh, we are when I have a right click, I'm simply sending a raycast, uh, looking for uh, if we hit any human avatar, and basically I keep this Yuma, uh, Yuma that has been hit by the raycast and I update the sliders based on Yuma values so uh, let me show you how this is done for now so if we have one, one Yuma and I access the Yuma DNA I update the values of the sliders uh, the actual value, it's a normalized value from 0 to 1 with the, the value from the human DNA itself. Okay, so that's what's happening here. And um, this is really uh, just um, something to show you one of the possible ways to handle this, but uh, here in transfer of values, <clears throat> I'm actually doing the, the opposite. I'm defining that the value for each of the, the Yuma DNA elements will be based on the slider values. Okay. And after that, uh, I, I check if any of those sliders uh, has been pressed and if that's the case I basically tell this specific Yuma that the shape should be updated and actually ask for the update to happen so the Yuma customization is quite simple, but extremely powerful. You can even see here that even while the, the avatar is uh, being animated, it's still possible to change all the values uh, it's extremely flexible and really if you want to create a huge amount of avatars this is really very good because you can share the atlas and even even having the same atlas each avatar can be unique because of the way the its shape is adjusted each avatar can have a unique shape even sharing the, the atlas itself. After a while I will probably explain the Yuma generator itself as it's still going to receive many many updates for the following versions of Yuma. So that's it for now guys, uh, goodbye!